Hey, what is good on guys? POG here and welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. This is episode number 152 and let's get on with the shoutout for today. So today's shoutout goes to Skeleton Yoshi, went in and left a comment saying, I would like to congratulate all the people that had gotten the shoutout. You deserve it more than me, lol. Anyways, Pog, Travis is mentally funny. I can't even stop laughing from the beginning of the video. Well, I want to go ahead and thank you so much, Skeleton Yoshi, for writing this comment. And I want to go ahead and welcome you to my beautiful world as well to my shoutout room. Well, that being said, this is kind of day three for the cave week. And in this episode, I want to go ahead and switch some things up. We're kind of going to go into the high hill biomes and we're gonna go and see if we can find a bunch of emeralds I mean I don't even know which one is the high hill biomes but in my guessing is that this right over there is like the big mountains might be the high hills biome so maybe we could even go down there but I don't know where we're going but um, I just think that high hills biome is one of these because these are big mountains and we're just gonna go and see if we're gonna find any emeralds by going into this big mountain so Gonna start off by collecting this coal over here. I do have a crafting table, or I mean, I have a oak wood that's gonna be turned into a crafting table. I'm still using the same pickaxe as yesterday's video. And we're gonna go ahead and collect as much resources as possible. It's not all about finding emeralds or diamonds, it's about finding iron, coal, lapis lazuli, uh, and a bunch of other stuff that we can possibly find. So, we're gonna go and see if there's any cave that I could probably go into uh, because I don't think uh, there will be caves that I have already explored. And you know what, let's just head straight into that mountain that we early so earlier, so. So we're gonna collect all that coal. All right, so I feel like nighttime is gonna be coming in a few moments. Yeah, so nighttime is going to be coming, so we're going to go up into that mountain over there, uh, which is quite far away, but I remember there's like a sand area and stuff like that, and so we're going to go there before it's nighttime and uh, hope for the best. So there is a water here, and I think the high hills biome would be somewhere here only, so we're going to have to go this way. Alright, so this one looks like a high hills biome, I'm not too sure, but we're gonna kind of exit here and then see if uh, this place has what we're looking for. Hopefully there's a nice looking cave around here, and uh, we just need to find some sort of entrance to get here. The problem is I'm only seeing this one mountain, so let's go up here and see if there's any other mountains around. Well, yes there is. Okay, so this place here should be a good place to start in a search for emeralds and other many type of resources. So I think we should go ahead over there and kind of enter the cave from there, unless there's some other ways to enter from here. I don't think there is, uh, but I do see one up there. I wonder what's there. Let's just go up here instead and uh, see if that one is going to be taking me into a deeper cave. I do have my bucket of water with me and 18 piece of bread, which should be enough uh, for today since I did take that minecart for a while. So I did save a lot of kind of hunger bars. So we didn't really waste a lot of food. But uh, yeah, so let's see if this place here is going to be good enough place to start. And the answer is most likely yes. I do have another stack of torches. So let's go ahead and start placing these. And yes, so I have a feeling we're gonna be finding emeralds sooner or later in about uh, not too long, but I think we will find emeralds in a bit. So, I did not mean to do what I just did. Um, I do hear a skeleton, so maybe right there. Let's take care of you. There we go. Okay, so nothing really here. It looks like it's like a mountain part. That's interesting. And I don't know if this takes us to a deeper cave. I do see some coal in there. And yeah, it takes me just a tiny cave, So, but that's all right. We're just gonna be collecting these. And the reason I do have my crafting table with me, guys, is actually I don't have a crafting table, I have to craft it. But when the time comes and I craft it, it's just to turn these blocks into a kind of a coal block, which is going to save up some inventory space, which will be amazing. Okay, so this definitely is a high hills biome, as you can see, like right from the, the waterfall. Usually that's where you get the waterfalls as far as I know. So let's see, uh, where was that other part that I could have entered from, but I chose not to because this place here wasn't really 
the best way to start since it didn't really take me to a some sort of deeper cave which will then help me find emeralds. Now I think I should go back the way I entered because then I'll find it. If I can obviously remember where it was but I think it's this one here. This is where I exited from and I do not see any other cave around so we're just gonna go back and uh, hopefully I can go to the other part and that will work for me. Well I did jump down from here so <laughs> that's interesting the way I'm supposed to get back up. Okay, I don't really have anything, so I have to, like, dig my way up. The good news is I will be collecting this coal, so it's not really a big deal collecting, going myself up, because then I'm collecting all this coal. There we go. That's quite a bit of coal. Let's just put a torch down so we can see what we're doing. And uh, sometimes I'm thinking to even, like, grab myself some sort of uh, more wood, so that if, um, if we ever run out of uh, torches, I should have enough. I do have a feather falling boots as far as I know. Yes, we do. So we have feather falling three boots. It's one of my favorite um, boots, actually. I think it has uh, feather falling three and projectile protection three. And I need to do a bit more enchanting on my armor. But yeah, so we're going to be turning these into later on to, let's say, you know, sticks so that we can make torches in case uh, we ever f kind of come short. All right, so this is the place I was thinking to enter at first, I think. So we're just gonna head up here and see if this is gonna take me to a deeper cave. Most likely not, but we'll, we'll find out. So it looks like I'm gonna have to place a torch here so that I'll know I've been here before, so I don't ever come up here for no reason, let's say. And uh, yeah, there's, there's also some high hills bam there. But, yeah, this one has no such deep entrance to a cave. But I'm sure we'll find one around here. Oh, what's here? Is this a cave? I think we just found one. Yay. All right, so it's not really where we wanted it to be, but that's fine. We're just going to look around here and see if there's anything. I wonder if this was the one I was thinking of coming, but it actually might have been because I think I placed the torch there. Yeah, maybe this was the one I was trying to come into. All right, so that's good. We at least found a cave that takes us a bit deeper. And let's see, am I missing anything? Always look around you just in case. And of course, at that end, sometimes if you do dig around here, it might take you to another cave. But, you know, in this case, I know there's another entrance. I'm not going to bother. And we're just gonna go and explore that other part, which was, I think, somewhere here. Yeah. So maybe this one doesn't take us to a dead end. Who knows? So we're just gonna go down here and find out. Okay, there's a skeleton. This is an interesting place. And, of course, it took me to a nice dead end. Okay. Uh, let's see if this place does anything. How about if I just start digging staircase down? I just don't want to waste my fortune pickaxe because uh, the health isn't doing that well. No, I don't I didn't find any cave there. So if there was we should have already found it. So we're gonna go ahead and browse around and see if there will be one. I'll actually speed this up until we find one. Alright guys, so I decided to come up here for one of the dangerous reasons that something you do not want to do in Minecraft, but I'm about to do it, and that is digging straight down. Now the way I'm gonna try to do this so I'll be safer is by digging with two blocks. So that I'm going to look around here, make sure it's safe, and I'm going to start digging like this. When it's safe, I'm going to jump down and kind of do it this way. But you don't want to just dig straight down because then you don't know what's underneath you. And then you might end up going into a horrible place. So we're just going to do it this way. And then looks like that is safe. Okay, I just kind of didn't do this properly, but that's all right. At least we survived. And hopefully by doing this, we should find a some sort of cave. And, and we found a pond looking thing. Now it is very dangerous to actually jump down here because we do not know what's here. So I'm going to quickly eat. And then we're going to think of jumping here with a sword in case there's a creep or anything like that. Thankfully, there isn't anything like that. Uh, but we did find this weird looking pond. So sometimes there could be some sort of cave connected to it. 
what just was that was that some sort of block okay I was like what just dropped into the water okay the next thing you could do easily is have a torch obviously and then kind of start digging straight down now because if there is anything you can always try to swim back up and this efficiency is doing a great job of uh, you know digging inside of the water so if you have water and there's lava underneath you it's really not a big deal and then when it comes to this part just place a torch and gain you some more health Hopefully we don't end up digging all the way to bedrock because then, you know, that's not really what we want to do. I think I just heard a zombie, but I'm not too sure. And don't just step on the on the block that you're digging because sometimes the water might be, uh, you know, above you. And if there was a cave underneath you, you will just drop into it if the water isn't down there and quickly replace that. And I have a feeling that we might not be finding any caves by doing this. This might be just taking me into a bad joke. Oh, place that. There we go. And yes, yeah, so we did find a bedrock. So this was obviously not the best place to dig. Whoa, what is this? Hmm. Alright guys, what is this thing? I think this is my first time ever seeing one. Can you write it or... Maybe I have to have nothing on my hand? Oh! Or is it like something like a horse? Do not drop me off this thing. Is that some sort of... I'm not sure what that is, but I feel like you can tame it. I'm not too sure, but it does look like you can. Yes! Okay, I, I did it. So... Whoa, what is that? I don't think that is a saddle you can place. And I cannot control it. Interesting. Alright, so we're just going to go back into the subject of finding, you know, a nice looking cave. So I'm just going to fast forward until we actually find one. Alright, so by digging straight down, obviously I do not recommend it. I did end up finding this good looking cave instead of finding a lava pool beneath me so thankfully I survived by digging straight down but uh, this place I think once we start collecting as many resources as possible uh, obviously as many my inventory can take um, I think we should be able to found, find some diamonds and emeralds as well if we are staying in this place uh, because this this place is full of resources as you can see the amount of coal and and uh, iron around me so hopefully if we go deeper into the cave we're gonna find a lot of lava pools and uh we're gonna find let's say emerald around there and emeralds do spawn just like one block but then if you find one usually around it there will be quite some as well and so we're gonna dig probably like downwards if we can't find any any way to go a bit lower which in this case I think I will find in case like this place should have it. Okay, that could be a nice drop. But I want to just browse around here and see what's here. So just a dead end. And then over here, it looks like a dead end with at least a way to go down. At the same time, there is a coal here. And the good news is this one is a big looking cave. Which should take us to a how to put it, underground cave, which will be something we're looking for compared to just kind of a high up and then just a dead end. As you can see, this one goes down, which is nice. So we're gonna place a torch there, place a torch there, and kind of go around and see if this is a dead end. If this one is a dead end, hopefully the other one isn't. But if this is a dead end, we're gonna continue digging down and until we found something different. All right, so collecting these. There's a lot of coal in this place, not gonna lie. There we go, beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna click this iron, just like this. Okay, there we go. And then we're gonna, and then we're gonna go up here. Then we're gonna go up here and kind of go a bit downwards. And hopefully this is gonna take me 
to a emerald and right there guys uh, I can't believe it I, I was like this is gonna take me down to an emerald and I was like staring at it oh this is a ravine nice okay I like it so we're gonna kind of do my best to get down there without getting injured a lot and hopefully this isn't a bad thing or a bad place to be in now I wanna just to make sure that everything is good I'm kind of trying to see if there's any skeletons around here because I want to make a little bridge and go to the other side and hopefully I can do that if there isn't any skeletons because now I have to switch that and now I should be able to take this dirt and end up jumping oh my god that could have been bad um okay there's some gold there oops I did not mean to do that I like how the creeper just tried to climb up the water interesting okay so we're gonna place this there and then I'm gonna have to try and see what's in here because this might take me down to there who knows okay so torch here nope that's a dead end we don't want to be here and then we're gonna place a torch here some coal in here we're gonna grab these and there we have it though more we also found some iron I have a feeling if we go near that emerald we're gonna find some more emeralds not just not just that okay um it looks like the creeper isn't really there anymore which is a good thing but we're gonna do my best not to have many problems with the creeper so we're gonna quickly deal with him there we go beautiful and there it is we found some emeralds we're gonna place a torch down here just like this and how can I mine this possibly without dropping it because it doesn't look like there's anything supporting it so I guess I have to make some sort of bridge looking thing to kind of have it under it like this and then I'm gonna take this away and kind of collect it uh, pretty much so that it will come on my inventory and really just one piece oh 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 my god no 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 water are you kidding me right now oh my god <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh this episode was funny um i ended up spawning over here because i took a nap here well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications to be updated when a new video comes out. Also, leave a like to the comments that you think deserve a shout out. And that being said, I'll see you guys later. Bye.